so much for uh, the opportunity to speak here today and for trusting a lawyer to uh, speak on this topic. Yes. Um, I'm asked to present a survey we did this year amongst our uh, members uh, about their use and views on BIM. Our association is um, a little different from most of the uh, rest of the Europe because we are um, uh, we are an organization for the offices, not individual architects. Uh, although we have a lot of uh, members without employees as well. We organize companies of building architects, landscape architects and interior architects and most architect departments of the multidisciplinary uh, companies are also members. We have now around 600 member companies employing about 4,400 employees and this represents 90% of the um, um, of the architect companies in Norway. So first some facts about the survey. Um, the main purpose was to map the architect's industry's expertise and use of BIM. We also wanted to, to search the ground for to see if there was a need and uh, or demand for a BIM course specially designed for architects. The survey was carried out over a period of uh, one month this last spring and targeted both the executives and the employees. The response rate was very good. We had uh, about 303 um, answers, but they represented um, um, between 150 and 200 companies. We got answers from uh, companies of all sizes and with uh, uh, respondents with different roles in the companies and projects. And when I say all sizes, you should bear in mind that in Norway we have the largest architect firm has about 300 employees or architects employed, so it's not big in European scale. So when I later refer to large in this relation, it means companies over about 50 architects. So the next two slides will contain a very short summary of the findings, uh, but you will find more details in an extended version that I have been handing in, and I, I guess it will be on, uh, on ACES website. The survey shows that most companies in Norway use BIM, and they use it to solve a variety of different tasks. A large percentage of the respondents believe that BIM gives, gives them a competitive advantage but here the opinion differs from uh, between small and large companies. Few respondents experience that BIM prevents them from participating in, in bids and competitions, but uh, the prof profitability in, of BIM needs to be worked on. Regarding the capability of BIM to secure increased architectural quality and sustainable architecture, the respondents are ca cautious but the largest companies report that their BIM competence gives them increased influence in processes and projects. There is a great need for relevant continuing education in, uh, within BIM, and most respondents are interested in a course of two days or more. A combination of physical and online-based education is then preferred. BIM is also seen as a highly efficient tool to reduce errors, but here the large companies are the absolute most positive. Mm, it's further, further on important that BIM demands are harmonized and based on national or uh, international standards. So you're doing a great work over there. As you can see, next to all respondents report that they use BIM in projects. The key to this probably has a lot to do with the fact that our lead public client already in 2010 demanded all their proje projects will be, will be delivered in BIM. And many others have uh, followed their example. We also see that the majority of the respondents have conducted projects where BIM has been part of the management and execution of the project. Many also work in companies that has had multidisciplinary BIM responsibility. And 97% use either Revit or Archicad. BIM is uh, seen as a very efficient tool to reduce errors, as I said, and provides better control of the projects. 
It simplifies the work and gives a competitive advantage, but on the other hand, also changes the workload to be a little bit front-loaded, and it's uh, not at all compensated sufficiently. The survey also shows that there is an evident need for education and standardization. It's used to uh, solve various tasks, the most important being visualization, interdisciplinary coordination, exchange of data, and collision control. BIM is less used in production on site. As an answer to what we found in the survey, we are currently developing a training course for architects. And it's being developed by our very qualified BIM expert group in Norway, and we hope to launch before next summer. It's based on the Building Smart training curriculum. It will be a two days course where certification by Building Smart is possible but optional. Our ambition is then to ensure an easy transition from training to mastering on projects by being specific and uh, providing good examples for the use of BIM. The course will contain eight modules with different topics that you can see here, including framework conditions, deliverables, modeling, coordination, cost estimation, etc. Uh, the models, modules, they have uh, each a set of goals defined by the Building Smart Training curriculum, and I have simplified uh, the goals here in this chart of the next two slides, but um, um, you can write in, read this for yourself afterwards. So, thank you.